Hi and welcome again. In our today's video, we will discuss context diagrams in project management. According to 6th edition of PMBOG, context diagrams visually depict the product scope by showing a business system. That business system could be a process, equipment, computer systems, or etc. And how other people and actors or systems interact with this business system. Besides that, context diagrams show inputs to the business system, the actors providing that input, and the output going to the actors. In this diagram given on the right here, the processes in a context diagram should be shown with a circle. The data flow is shown by arrows. Besides that, other entities, which could be another system, or people, or other processes, are shown by rectangular shapes. There could only be an input from an external entity to the process, or maybe there is only an output to the external entity. Or in some cases, there might be both outputs to the external entity and inputs from the external entity. These entities, as I mentioned earlier, could be people, could be other systems, could be processes, or anything else. In order to simplify it for you, assume that we have a concrete pouring activity in one of our projects. So the parties involved in this activity will be the organization, the activity itself, the contractor, and the laboratory. So what happens here is, in order to begin this process, a trigger from the project is given to the organization or the company which means that the company might check the schedules that an activity including concrete pouring is approaching. So what the company will do here is to send a request for the next design to the laboratory. The lab, after a while, will provide the company with the next design report. Once this next design report is prepared, the company will send RFP or RFQ to the contractor. The contractor will send out their proposal for the work to the company. The organization in response to the contractor's proposal awards the project or the activity to the contractor and sends out a notice to proceed. Once the contractor receives this NTP or notice to proceed, they send out their human and physical resources to deliver the activity or the project. I hope this video has helped you to better understand the context diagrams in project management. If you like the contents in this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video for more contents like this. Thank you very much for watching.